Okay, so I'm going to go over how to reverse engineer a graph. So here I've got my Kindle application open, and I've got Fundamentals of Fluid Mechanics open, and I've got a graph on uh, drag versus Reynolds number. Uh, it's in a log log plot from chapter 9. So we need to screenshot this. And then we need to load it into this application called Web Plot Digitizer. Let me reload this. So here's the address up here. So if we load the image, we're going to load it. This is a 2D plot. You can see we can do other types of images, but let's stick with the 2D plot we've got to locate these different points x1 first, x2, then y1 and y2 so we just click in the general area and if you look in the upper right there is um, a zoomed in view so what we're going to do here is we're using the arrow keys to move x1 into its correct location and then we go x2 and then we go Y1 again using the arrow keys to fine-tune they don't have to be on top of each other but I'm gonna put them on top of each other in this case and then this is 400 at the top here and then we complete the axis calibration so this is uh, if you notice down here, we enter 1e minus 3 for 10 to the minus 3. So we go 1e minus 1, 1e 7. This is on a log scale. This is 0 0.06. And this is 400. We go log scale. We hit OK. So now we could manually extract points using this set of tools right here just by clicking but that's not what we want we want to do automatic extraction and um, first thing let's set the the color that we're going to be um, grabbing and that's going to be this color here and I'm using I'm looking in the upper right to make sure I've got in the middle of the uh, the the curve and so now I've picked that color and I hit done. The distance, um, so I'll explain this a little bit more here in a minute about the distance. So first let's use the pin, or next let's use the pin. And what we want is we're going to trace the curve. Mostly. I'm a little bit off it's not that important that I'm off okay so that is now um, covered and we can look at what colors are are extracted and you can see right here we've got a little bit of stuff that we don't want so what we're going to do is we're going to use erase and we're going to come up over here and we're going to remove just a little bit right there and then we're going to go back and we can filter the colors again and we can see what shows up so I've got a little bit more to remove still and now I'm going to go back to the pen That's pretty good. Let's do filter colors again. That's pretty good. And if we turn this down, we like if we go down to like one, we can see that it gets thinner. But the colors are pretty consistent, so we don't. Um, this is like a uh, it grabs colors that are similar, <laughs> so slightly different shades. So if we go 50 here. 
you'll see it matters more. It'll be more important on other graphs. On this one, it's not so important. So now um, we just hit run, and it grabs the points. And then we can actually add a few points in here manually, just so that we get the entire curve. So now we can hit adjust points and we can adjust any of these if we think we needed to, like here. So instead I can hit delete point and I can come here and I like, oh, I got this arrow. Don't want that. Don't want that. Let's delete this one and we'll add a point in there. That one I'm good with. Did a fine job there. Don't really like that one. Oops. And that's okay. So now we've got our data set. We can hit view data. We can download the, the CSV. <laughs> or we can just copy it to the clipboard and go throw this into Excel um, and use the data. Um, but basically that's how you re reverse engineer a graph.